All right, ladies and gentlemen, here with New York University Violets, national champions, Coach Barber, Morgan, Natalie, and Bell. Talk about what it feels like to be a national champion. Hasn't hit yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel real in this moment, but I know earlier today, um, seeing all the support from our family, friends, all the people that came out, I was a mess before the game <laughs> emotionally, just thinking about um, how much work it took to get here, not just this past year, but like these past three, four years with, you know, all the returners, my coach, coaching staff. Um, and I'm sure it's going to hit later again, but right now it's just like pure euphoria. Yeah, I was reflecting earlier, too, and it's kind of like the moment you dream of when you're, like, a little kid. And um, to actually, like, be here in this moment is so unreal and kind of, like, undescribable. And like Morgan said, it almost, like, hasn't even hit yet. Mm -hmm. um, it was, like, so many tears of joy afterwards, just all the 6 a.m. wake-ups, like, <laughs> hard workouts, like, all your parents driving you to all those, like, stupid AAU stuff like all that like for this moment like it finally finally paid off and it just it's an amazing feeling yeah I agree <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I I don't I there's like no energy left in my body it was such a hard-fought game um and took just everything we had you know um winning it with the alumni sisterhood that was here with our administration here with um my own family, you know, flying here this morning, last night. Um, and then also just to see our players' families who we sat down across the table from when these guys were 17 years old talking about how this could be possible. And um, I I'm like most happy when I was cutting down the net to look out at their parents and just the trust that they had in us for coming to NYU and kind of the picture that we painted and to believe that picture and to be here realizing it is honestly a dream come true. Yep. You have a national championship as your alma mater. Your head coach is Janice Quinn, <laughs> who played at NYU yep. and coached for the last championship in 1997. Can you talk about what it was like being recruited on the field <laughs> of that 1997 championship and how deep the NYU legacy went? Yeah, I mean, well, back then, you know, um, there wasn't a whole lot of social media. <laughs> so you know, you, you really had to trust the process, and obviously I trusted coach and um, the person that I thought the program would make me become. And it, it certainly sur far surpassed um, anything that I ever dreamed my college experience could be. And so when this um, job opened and I knew that there was an opportunity to come back and sort of recreate some of that magic and just the, the mentorship and the family uh, atmosphere, um, I really was thrilled to be able to do it. And I just really want to credit Audrey Cunningham, Nettie Respondic, Annie Barrett, Amiko Smith, our staff, just hit the ground running with recruiting. And there's been nothing better than to have these champions in our locker room. And Brun said it yesterday. But the proudest I am is that I get to represent um, these young women who I, I th I've thought they're champions, and now they have champion officially next to their name, and that just it feels amazing. To the girls, let's talk about the game today. Defensive struggle. What was Smith doing that made it so difficult for you, and what were you able to do to them? I mean, they scouted us really well. Credit to Smith. Um, clearly their coaching staff had a good game plan, and their girls executed very well. Um, but I think at the end of the day, like, we knew that we had to win. That didn't need to be a pretty win. Also, um, they say offense wins games, defense wins championships. Um, we held them to 41 points, and that's what it came down to. Morgan, talk about the matchup against the team that you played for for many years and for the National Player of the Year last year. Yeah, I mean, it was a really emotional game, and especially afterwards. Um, I think I was ugly crying, <laughs> but, um, you know, that program helped shape me into who I am today, and then NYU helped solidify that, and I really am just so grateful to be blessed by two extremely winning um, teams. I mean, I went to a Final Four last year, and I'm back here at a championship playing against my old school. Like, that means I made two decisions that have benefited me in such extraordinary ways, and I'm so lucky that... I was able to have these opportunities. Bell, as the youngster of the group, <laughs> uh, just talk about the flow of the game. You came out, you know, going at 100 miles an hour. And things kind of changed a little bit. Yeah, I mean.
mean, I think they adjusted pretty well. We went on like an 8-0 run um, in the very beginning. I think credit to Smith, they, they adjusted really, really well. Um, we're really good at cutting off baseline drives and most of our um, drives that we normally have in the paint. Mm -hmm. um, but like Brun says, we, we stuck to what we knew best, which was defense. Um, and that has gotten us to this point and has made us win this game. So that's just what we went with. To your point, this game, we talk a little, we talk a lot about the mental fortitude of being down by 5, 10, 15, climbing that hill to get it back to even and winning. Talk about the flip side of that, which is the mental fortitude to know that they're getting close and to really hold them off at every turn. You know, we've trusted our defense all year. So I kept saying in each huddle, like, we still haven't pieced together our offensive punch. We just, I mean, I guess we started kind of with a little bit of one, but um, typically you'll kind of find us spurt out into a 10-2 or, you know, 12-4 run this year at some point when our transition game is slowing. I, th I thought Smith did an incredible job slowing down our transition game and really walling things up. Um, and, but on the flip side, on the defensive side of the ball, our players were outstanding. I mean, uh, Natalie, you know, on uh, Jesse Ruffner holding her five for 16, and Eden Williamson coming off the bench to just, you know, kind of bother everyone and anyone who was in her vicinity. Obviously, um, you know, the three point line was a huge key for us for this game, and I thought we defended it really well. And that was honestly defense wins championships, and we've been honed in on that all year. I was told in pregame to have some fun with you and ask you, oh boy. <laughs> which team is better, this one or the 97 group? I'm not going <laughs> to ask that question. What I will ask instead is, uh, when NYU last won a championship, the three people sitting to your immediate left were not on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean for you to be the coach, to bring back that, to, to bring a championship back, and then for the three of you, what does it mean to be the group and the class that brings back that championship? You know, for me, it, it I have a lot of emotion about it. Um, my dad helped get me to NYU, and um, he's not with us anymore, but I thought a lot about him on this run um, because he made sure that if NYU was an option for me that he would make it happen. And I, I honestly cannot say how blessed I was to play for Janice Quinn and grow up. I grew up in a town with one blinking stoplight. I went to NYU, um, and it was life-changing for me. I, I grew into a young woman, and I've always thought about, you know, how special that journey was. And that's um, what I was thinking about a lot as, as we were heading kind of into this game, just to be grateful to be able to represent these guys tonight and to just have a chance to go out and compete for one, knowing that obviously you want to win, but the game is the fun part. You know, the game, the, com the competing, like that's, that's what we kind of live for in our world. So um, the sisterhood that was here today behind our bench, just screaming and cheering, that's what Coach Quinn built. And um, I have I've tried really hard to make sure that those connections and that group um, understands that um, this sisterhood is bigger than this current team. It's about all the players that have gone before us, setting the culture, setting the team first mentality. And these guys, I would say, just um, this is not a comparison to the 97 <laughs> team. Um, I really think that these guys have elevated that culture and just the um, kind of championship pedigree of how to do everything. They are, you know, when we didn't have a facility, they just didn't blink. And so this, this has just been a full circle moment to all the moments that we've gotten to share and celebrate this year and for these guys to be crowned champions um, with all the alums here and afar texting us, sending videos in. It, it is a sisterhood and it's one of the most special places I think that you could possibly coach at. Um, it feels really cool to be able to say that I've been through this program for four years and I'm a senior and I've helped um, this legacy live on and you know we talked about at the beginning how NYU has such a rich legacy and I knew that immediately when I was 17 <laughs> sitting across the table from coach Barber um, you get a lot of fluff from a lot of different coaches when you're being recruited but knowing that she had gone through this and she was going to win a national championship I could tell immediately from you know the time that I met her my parents could tell 
Um, so knowing that, you know, what I hopped on board for was what exactly what I got. And, you know, it took a lot of hard work. I grew as a person and I couldn't be more thankful that I chose NYU and that these people have come into my life and made me the person I am. Yeah, I mean, thinking back to like Bruns and I's rookie season, um, like this was what we sort of dreamed of and talked about. And we knew it was gonna take a lot of hard work and maybe it wasn't gonna come the first year, the second year. Um, but it's even those two teams and all those losses and what we went through, both those years have gotten us to the point where we are today. Um, and I'm super grateful for this entire opportunity. And going to school at NYU, it's really changed my life. Um, basketball side and just the people I've met um, the best friends that I've made on our, on this team um, now I'm starting to get, to get emotional <laughs> again but um, yeah this is a total full circle moment um, for us especially because we just had this vision when we first came into the program um, and we didn't have a gym when we were literally subwaying two games because um, we played in Brooklyn and we all lived in Manhattan so <laughs> it's really just a full circle moment for us yeah, I guess coming in <laughs> for one year. <laughs> um, I mean, it's crazy to think that a year ago I was I got an email from Coach Barber saying, hey, I saw you're in the portal. Um, do you want to have a chat? And I was like, oh, NYU. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and honestly, it was really hard to move into NYU, but being able to be welcomed with open arms in a gym every day made it a little bit more less chaotic. <laughs> and it's such a championship culture that coming in like every day we knew what we were working for we never took our eye off of what we wanted no matter what game it was we always knew it was always working towards something and I think having that in a program is so special because you never lose sight of what you need to do and it motivates you in everything you do and especially coming off of a final four run and into a team that had been in the elite eight multiple times uh, I knew they were so hungry for so much more, and I'm just so happy that I was welcomed into this program, and they were able to support me as New York pushed me <laughs> to be, um, to grow as a person both on and off the court. I mean, I drained like several jumpers. I had not done that all year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so over the course of one year, I was just so lucky to be with these girls and be in this culture, and that's these are memories I'm gonna have for a lifetime. I'd also like to give a shout out to Tandon School of Engineering for having a great master's program that um, attracted Morgan and Natalie Bruns for undergraduate. So thank you, Tandon. Uh, in the, after the first game, uh, in the tournament, Natalie, and I asked you how Morgan had changed you as a player and more, and I just turned around. Morgan, how did playing with Natalie change you? Um, I think it made me more, uh, like agile in a way, because I had to read her. I didn't know what she was gonna do. Um, and it was always like, oh, she's driving. Oh, wait, that's a spin move. I gotta go over here. Like, <laughs> um, Or it's a step back jumper. So I think she made me, uh, she helped me read the game better and make better plays, like cutting off ball and not just being like, oh, I'm just a post player on the block. Like I, she helped me like ex show that I do have more to my game than just a player on the block. Um, I finally get to be normal for a little bit. Um, <laughs> it definitely was something that would um, kind of like be in the back of my mind during season, like especially during J term when it got a little hard. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, in retirement, like I get to like read all the time. I can travel. <laughs> I can like do whatever I want. And then I would realize that would affect my playing. And I honestly had to shut it down, focus, and just get this ring. So. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. I have some plans. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can start. The first year I stepped foot into New York City to live there was uh, 2020, fall. 
uh, New York City was not what it normally was um, with COVID. And immediately, as soon as I stepped in on campus, um, despite being a lot of restrictions in the dorms, um, I, again, was welcomed with open arms from upperclassmen um, who made a really difficult time a little bit better. And this program was the one that got me through that year. And I grew a lot in ways that I would have never expected. That was a really tough year. But um, you know, just to be able to come back from that and play basketball again, and just be so grateful to be on the court every day, um, that definitely shaped me and set me up for, you know, the next three years of success in whatever whatever ways I could get it. Yeah, I mean, living in the city is character building. It makes <laughs> you just tough. Like, it's every day is sort of just like not typical. Like, no, no days look the same. Um, and I would say being an athlete at NYU is even more tough. Um, it's a grind. Like, the school, obviously, academics is hard in and of itself. Um, but not having a campus, um, not having like a central location really for a long time for, our, for, for my first two years, um, not having a gym for my first two years, all of that just made us tougher as a team, as an individual. Um, and then living in the city, you know, you, you got to mature fast. <laughs> um, and I think that that's led to our, you know, especially the three of us, our ability to lead this team to where it's been, to where it's become. Um, but yeah, there's the maturity, like this, that it, I've grown so much as a person um, beyond just basketball, just leading this team. It's going to take me so many other places. Yeah, I mean, hats off to these girls for doing this for four years. <laughs> God, I got rocked when I came into the city. Um, I mean, just the fact that you have to like add in transportation time to get to the gym early, um, and like flying everywhere for games. You're gone for like three or four days, um, and the academics on top of it. It's it's so impressive what they've been doing for over the course of four years. And on top of not having a gym, that's that's crazy. And uh, but. Honestly, it's really helped me be disciplined and more um, strict in how I recover and what I do in my personal life and just holding myself accountable in ways. Like I have to get up on time so I can make the subway so then I can get to practice and take care of myself or so I can get to class and get ready. And I didn't know I could grow that much over the course of a year as a person. I thought I had become fully shaped into who I was at Smith. <laughs> And it's like Janice Quinn said on my visit, like I was here and she said NYU could push me to be here. And I think it's really lived up to that and I'm so grateful I'm here. Ladies, congratulations, 2024 National Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doesn't sound real, does it?